Alright, I haven't seen this run. Um, description says, made so many mistakes. I don't know anything about this run. It was also on a uh, Pun's alt. So, it didn't make a whole lot of fuss when it came out, you know. Um, not a lot of people know about this PB. Um, yeah, so I, basically I know nothing about this run. It was the first time watching it and everything. I've seen him play. He um he knows his bastions and everything. He seems to really know what he's doing. He's pretty fast at playing as well, from what I've seen. I've only recently started watching puns. Um, and he seems pretty fast. Bit of a coastal spawn. Let's see if he wood axes or stone axes. He's probably gonna wood axe. What's it going to be? Oh no. Oh yeah. Stone Axe. What a legend. My streamer, dude. My streamer. Stone Axe. Just love to see it, man. Puns actually uh, watches my streams a fair bit. Um, so maybe he's heard me complain about people wood axing a lot. Does he front load all logs? He's only got nine planks. The point of stone axe is to front load a fuckload of logs. Um, so that when you craft beds in the bastion, you've got enough planks. But he didn't actually get enough planks to do that. He's got three beds worth of planks. Um, which is awkward. He makes a, uh, an extra set of sticks. Um, so he's he's doing stone axe, but he's also planning on crafting iron tools if he gets enough, which is interesting. And he doesn't quite get enough. He's probably going to make an uh, iron shovel here, but... This is a nice shipwreck with the gravel right there. This is looking like a clean, quick entry. Close these. His crafting's a little slow, but um, it doesn't matter that much. Pre craft shield. That's funny. I, I was watching someone else pre craft shield as well. I can't remember who it was. Like, um, Tfue pre-craft shears, which is hilarious to me. Pre-craft shield. So now, it, the point, again, the point of stone axe is front load logs so that you don't need to get logs to get beds later. Because imagine you blind travel and you're inside the stronghold or you're like outside the stronghold, you know, and there's no trees around. Um, you'd have to waste a lot of time getting your planks. So that's the point of stone axe is get your logs at the start of the game so that if your blind travel sends you somewhere weird and your nether doesn't have logs, you're going to have enough wood for beds. Um, it's probably a time loss to do stone axe if you're not front loading logs. Like the point of front, uh, the point of stone axe is security. Um, so that your run doesn't die later on. So he's only got three planks now, which is basically, well, it is one bed, but. Yeah, so that's a bit awkward. Also, Ruin Portal, good. Um, He got a gold block. He's got his gold armor now. And he's even got flint and steel. He's just ready to enter. But yeah, ruined portals are really nice um, in hyper modern. It turns out getting gold armor is often a major time loss in the Nether. You can die because of not having it. Obviously, that's the point of having gold armor is to not die. Um, getting a ruined portal is usually a pretty big deal. It's a it's what they'd call a quiet move, right? In chess, you know. Just casually getting a ruined portal, but it, it ends up saving a lot of time. Uh, 
Monument, really. So maybe it's not hypermodern. It's a monument classic run. Yeah, I know nothing about this run at all. Dolphin, very pog. I haven't seen any magma ravines yet, and this ocean looks really shallow. He doesn't need that shipwreck for anything except food. I'd probably consider the food. Was it, I think it was the food side that he was at. He could get donged here. He's he's within dong radius. Um. Luckily, he didn't get hit, but there's a small chance that he gets hit there. This is a funny way of doing it, digging down two. Digging down three, even. Still got the dolphin, very nice. Oh, he's got two dolphins, they're coming with them as well. <laughs> Another dolphin spawns, because of two out here. So this is pretty slow for a monument entry. It's looking like a 630 entry or something. Um, but still sub 20 pace. Like to be on world record pace and monument runs, you kind of want to be entering at, well, obviously at least sub five, but sub 430 is nice world record pace. Um, Cause you want to be exiting the nether around like 830, honestly, to be on world record pace and a monument classic run. Um, for an average distance stronghold like if the clo if the stronghold's close then obviously you can technically leave a bit later in the nether but you want to be leaving at like 8 30 if you've got a full ocean world like this um man what a light enter wonder what his coordinates are oh there we go 900 1100 or well, 900, 1200. So he's, he's in the ring. Um, he's a little outside the start of the ring. Then Obsidian with 9 gold blocks is 8%. Yeah, that is you know, a potential outcome is that he gets 10 obsidian, but he's already at the ring, so um, blind traveling would only make sense if he had to travel somewhere in the nether. Like, if he had to run really far for a fortress, then blind travel would be still good in this run. I think it's just Obsidian, Zach, but I can't remember. We did the numbers ages ago. <laughs> he's, he's probably looking for a pre nether stronghold. Um, I would have found a cave by now. Um, that's something that I didn't really mention, is that you shouldn't be super desperate for magma ravines. Like, magma ravines are actually, they turn out to be really rare. Especially with the, how many islands there were. Like, if we go back in the, in the run, right, there were so many islands and so many, like, land masses, um, which tends to mean that the ocean's going to be quite um, shallow. And if the ocean's shallow, then it's not that magma ravines don't exist, it's that they're going to be covered up by land. Um, like, technically, the magma ravines still exist. But if it's a shallow ocean, you're not going to be able to see them because they're going to be covered up by land. When there's not a lot of islands and it's going to be a very deep ocean, it's fine to just bank on a magma ravine. But this is quite a shallow ocean. He should have found a cave, swum to the bottom. Um, and, you know, he might have had a six minute entry or even sub six. Uh, I actually want to go back. Where's this monument? Here it is. So let's look for some caves. Um, I think, because I was watching a stream, I told him about Lava Dowsing. I sent him the video. He came on my stream and said that he watched it and it was very pog. Um, so he knows about Lava Dowsing. Lava Dowsing works the same way, obviously, in oceans. 
just with a little less consistency. Um, like you can you can hit lava caves really easily. Like technically they're lava caves. They've got obsidian and magma in them, but they're still lava caves. Um. But yeah, getting it, getting it, because you just want to get in the nether, right? And you don't want to travel to the stronghold, um, pre nether, because it's better to just enter the nether and then go to the stronghold, you know, because you don't know if your angle is right. And in this case, I'm pretty sure his angle wasn't right and that he didn't go straight to the stronghold, you know, um, which potentially throws runs because of a lot of time loss of just traveling in the overworld for no good reason. So you want to enter as soon as possible. People get scared about entering um, ocean caves and monument runs since you generally have to exit the cave afterwards, which is why magma ravines are pretty nice because you can literally, literally just swim up. Um, but it's getting in the nether is more important than anything, you know. So there's a cave here. There's a cave over there as well, I think. Um, ravines aren't good for lava dowsing. There's two ravines here, but um, they they don't work the same way as caves do for lava dowsing. There is a way to do it, we just haven't learnt it yet. Um, there's another cave here. Unless that's a ravine, I'm not sure. Ocean ruin. It's another ravine here. I can't see any more caves. Yeah, but he's he's passed some caves already. Alright, we're around here. Yeah, I know he didn't find an entry to the nether, but he's at the ring and he's water clipping. And you can't water clip to find magma events. So he's water clipping to check for a stronghold, is what I meant. Door portal. Standard uses his plank, which is a bit sad. Um, but honestly, it's a ma it's a, a crim um, monument classic run. There's like a thirty eight percent chance to spawn in a uh, crimson forest, and then there's an extra like eight percent chance to spawn in a warped forest. So there's pretty decent chance, honestly, of getting logs in the Nether, but it's still not worth banking on. But with three planks and now only two planks, uh, the stone axe was in vain. Um, he is no longer front-loaded logs. <laughs> he gets both. It's a Crimson Forest and a Warped Forest. <laughs> so his logs are now secure. And he's got even more gold blocks. What, even more obsidian? Looting too, jeez. He still needs a stone axe on the bar. Um, it's obviously not efficient to, uh... Oh, no way. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine doing a monument run, you just convert to a warped forest looting to run. Oh no! <laughs> I wonder what he's, what he's trying to get pearls for. Uh, so there's a trick with boats. Let's see if he... Okay. Um, if he had trouble... Well, often people have trouble... What the fuck? <laughs> Often people have trouble getting uh, endermen into boats. It works with other mobs as well. You can place a block and then place the boat on top of the block. And they basically can, like, I've never witnessed, um, an enderman not get into the boat in that situation. Like, if you place a block and then a boat on top, um, it's like, it always, they always get inside the boat. It's real nice. Six pearls and monument gold. Do you think he's going to get enough pearls? <laughs> I like this. Keeping 32. Please keep it. Yeah, he needs to uh, throw it on the side of the pig. Throwing it at the front. Oh, damn. I thought he was going to... I thought he was going to um, have two separate... I mean, he can't actually because he doesn't have enough planks. But having two separate groups of piglins is really good on monument runs. I haven't seen anyone do it yet. Having only one um, set of boat pigs 
obviously limits you a bit. Um, having two piglins trading, it's somewhere, somewhere around two and a half minutes, I think, to trade uh, eight gold blocks. Maybe it's about three minutes. Um, and your average blaze split with a blaze bed is about two minutes. Without a blaze bed is about three minutes. Um, God, he loves his enderman. Maybe a bit of an overcommitment to loading two. He's got enough pearls, doesn't he? Like, dude, this is crazy that this is a sub 20. This is so nice having these pearls. Is this, this is like a reset fortress. Like it's too hard to get to, you know, but having these pearls. <laughs> yeah this is sub 20 you want to be leaving the nether like now in a classic sub 20 run oh well, there's a stone axe this is going to be a fast spawner split True, I, I didn't think of that um, before. I was talking about average um, blaze splits. I guess it'd be, what, looting one should be, I don't know how much faster. This should only take like a minute or so, shouldn't it? Pretty bad spawn rate so far. Pretty nice drop rate. He's got like three blazers, he's got five rods. <laughs> But he's mad that that blaze hit him. That was ridiculous. Yeah, I've had um, I've had looting before, and it didn't do me any good. <laughs> it seems to be doing him some good. This is nice, dude. Yeah, that was a fast blaze split. Um, setting up the pig took a while, but honestly, like, I don't know. This is a funny run. This is so, um, so different. 14 pearls, very nice. How much string does he have? Is he waiting on, he's only got, oh no, he's got 64 and 13 string. Sweet, what's he waiting on? Is he trying to get another fire res or what? Yeah, be seeing you, dude. See ya. He's already got a gold pick, so he doesn't really need the, uh... Yo, he's killing another Enderman. Holy. Doesn't he have 14 pearls? <laughs> nice twice, dude. So toxic, man. Relax. Just because it's not a sub-16, dude, you got to relax on him. <laughs> Clean. Positive Z means literally nothing. Um, it going up could mean anything. What's the maximum? The maximum would be like 2300 or something on the Z. So the maximum distance of the stronghold right now is probably only like between 600 and 800 blocks. Um, meaning his travel to the stronghold at max should be I don't know, a couple minutes or less. So this is looking like a sub-20. Which is hilarious. 
If it went negative somewhere, then the maximum would obviously be like thousands of blocks. Dude, he just places that wall. See you later. <laughs> it's right there, is it? Glaciers, hate to see it. Yeah, so actually let's go back and look at um, what happens when your brain is on backloading logs. So he's at 15 minutes. He could be traveling to the stronghold already. And he has to waste 50 seconds. And now he's traveling to the stronghold. So when you don't front load logs, you waste 50 seconds. Um, which is why front loading logs is so major. Yeah, front loading logs is super major. This could have been sub 19 with uh, front load logs. The time it takes to get front loaded logs is literally. Um, what is that? We got MC log. Because he got stone axe. He got the stone axe at the start, but he didn't front load. So what? 0 0.75. You have to add 2.5 seconds. So it's 3 seconds or less. 5 seconds. It doesn't even matter, right? 5 seconds versus 50 seconds. 10 times faster to front load logs. So the argument that front loading logs um is slow it just doesn't make any sense most people don't know there's a 0 0.25 second delay quarter of a second delay between breaking blocks unless it's an instant break obviously because on shares like shares on leaves you can instantly break leaves but even like back in the day you couldn't instant break leaves like crazy like you can nowadays um, but this is, there's a quarter of a second delay between breaking blocks, which you need to factor in uh, with those kinds of things when routing front load logs and that kind of thing. He's checking for uh, hidden rooms that can't exist. Uh, go to Ninja Brains YouTube to see uh, where hidden walls can be, hidden rooms. 0 0.1, maybe it's 0 0.1. I remember it as 0 0.25, but it might not be. This nav is uh, a bit sad, yeah, but it's a small stronghold. Plenty of walls around. Oh, it was, a, it was ocean exposed. You can see since there's water out the windows, it was ocean exposed. So if he... Uh, if he boated around a little more, <laughs> that was awkward. If he boated around a little more, um, he would have found an ocean exposed portal room, which let's see how, how much time that would have saved as well. Uh, negative, nice twice. And then you need to see indentations in the walls. Um, if there's an indentation at the bottom left, it means there's a hidden room at the top left. If there's an indentation, you know, you understand. You need to look for where the indents are in the walls. And the opposite story of the five way um, has a hidden room. If there's no indentations, there's no hidden rooms. Alright, so 16. Well, when's he getting out of the boat? Oh, he's... He leaves his boat behind, so. 16.15, I'd say, maybe. No, nah, we'll say with his stronghold. All right. And 16.25. So it would have saved another 55 seconds. Um, so it's that a minute and 45 lost. So it could have been... What is that? <laughs> Imagine math. 17. 17.45 or something.
I think it could have been 1745 if he front-loaded logs and if he checked for um, ocean exposed portal room. Which is pretty crazy. Like, this shows how fast monument runs are, right? Like, he left the nether so late. He only got in the nether at like fucking nine minutes or something. Like, monuments are so busted. Yeah, this could have been 1745. Oh, he's doing slab. Apparently, uh, someone said that he threw obsidian. Yeah. Also, that's, uh, he's got two eyes when he could have two pearls. That's why, like, I don't see a lot of people do it. Some people do it. Oh, 0 0.3 seconds, all right. Um, I only craft seven eyes of Ender. Obviously, I'm not banking on a five eye, but having pearls in the end is nice, you know? It seems like he's doing east-west, obviously. Um, if he did north-south, he'd obviously save time. And then north-south, you kind of want a pearl. Um, he actually doesn't have a boat, does he? Because he left his boat behind. Did he craft one? He's just hoping to run in there. East west ground. God damn. What a lucky man. Instant perch, east west ground. So with north south, he would have saved at least 20 seconds. Um,. I think it's at least 20 seconds, isn't it? Or is it... At, no, I don't think we ever ran proper numbers on how much faster is it. Oh, it, is, it is. Um, It's like between... I don't know. I'd say it's between 10 and 20 seconds. Um, well, he's probably nervous, Zach. That might be why he doesn't north-south here. Yeah, it would have saved even more time. So this could have been like, I don't know, 1725, 1735, somewhere around there. This could have been a crazy run, dude. Yo, what is this? How slow is this dragon moving? <laughs> I haven't seen an east-west perch in fucking months, man. Technically, this could be a jabate. What was the chance? Jojo, how many nodes are there? I think there's 24. I think there's a 1 in 24 chance that you get a jabate perch like this. I think there's either 24 or 32 nodes. 1 in 30, is it? Something like that. There's a chance this is a, a fake perch and he's ruining future perch chances. They're not randomly selected, yeah. I guess that'd be a consideration. But it perched. Looks like he's got six beds. Clean beds. Oh, that one was rough. That one was pretty rough. Ooh. Very comfortable though. All right, when should this have died? This should have died. Uh, 18 seconds, I'd say, if he did um, Obsidian Cycle. And when does it die? 31, uh, 31. So, 13 seconds. Another 13 seconds lost. So this, I mean, this could have been like 17, 15, or even lower um if he front loaded logs if he checked for ocean exposed portal room if he obsidian cycled and f um five bedded uh north south um and then if he entered the nether um if he entered the nether at a cave he would have you know obviously would have been a lot faster there as well Maybe, it, maybe it's not such a big deal since the stronghold was so close to where he randomly entered. Um, 
So maybe that's not a major consideration, um, especially since his random spawn in the nether got him close to a ruined portal that he might have uh, otherwise not been at. Wouldn't have had looting too. Um, I think that's the main things. But yes, yeah, somewhere around two to maybe even three minutes. I'd say I'd say two and a half minutes lost on this run. Maybe a little less than that. Um, he does stone axe, but he didn't front load logs. He didn't have any other major route issues. He was just maybe a little unfamiliar. Um, like he maybe hasn't played so much. Like in the nether, he was a little slow placing the pegs down. Um... Running to the fortress, I mean, he could have been a lot more di more direct. I recommend he plays Set Seed. Set Seed is really good for uh, just getting your routing down, getting your tasking. Because um, that, that's one of the main things here. Um, is that his tasking is a bit slow. He's not quite sure what to do next. Uh, that's what it looked like in the nether to me, at least. Um, like, it, it's not... Um, you know, instinctual to him is what I mean. Obviously, he knows what to do next, but it's not um, baked into his brain or anything. Um, but that that just comes with time. So I can see him getting sub eighteen, sub seventeen, um, very soon with this with what he's shown in this run. Um, yeah, pretty fast. Very Park.